Welcome back to another edition of uh, Hangar 207 in the garage with a golf cart edition. Um, if you guys see the first video where we pulled the engine out and the axle and took the engine apart, I'm not going to put a link up here because I have no idea how. So there's not going to be a link up here, but you can find it in the description. But today we're going to explain what all of our options are and we're going to do the unboxing. First thing you see is paperwork. It's made in China, so let's see. I ain't got a plan today. I got a. All right. This will make a good motor mount. All right. Time to get a little more serious. I'm so excited. <laughs> Quite that pretty. Wow, they gave us a spark plug wrench. That's freaking cool looking. Yeah, it is. Too bad it's going to be underneath and you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty. Flip, just grab the pull it off. Alright. Now I officially have a hernia. I'm good to go. <laughs> Now it's planning out what we're going to do. The problems that come up with this is the gas tank, the carburetor, the exhaust, this electrical box, and the shaft. But first, let's just, now this right here, as far as I measured it, should be able to fit into the golf cart like it is. And, not, and it should clear the seat. But it's not ideal because one, this gas tank's small. The exhaust is right underneath your butt, so a passenger's going to get a little bit hot by it. It's better to use the gas tank that's in the golf cart. But in order to do so, we have to put a vacuum pulse somewhere in the engine to where it'll run the fuel pump. Or I might get one of those electric clickety clack ones. I, I don't know yet. That's the decision. That's the option. A clickety clack fuel pump, or put a hole in the block somewhere and tap it and put a vent in it to where it runs the fuel pump. That's a problem we have to solve. The exhaust. The exhaust can't be underneath the seat, so it needs to run out the back. Uh, so a, a header will have to be made. That's another problem that you have that I have to do. I have to figure out how to run the exhaust. You can't really do that until you get it in there. You can come up with an idea, but you can't really do anything until you get in there. Because you don't want to run the pipe to where it's underneath your butt again, or you know, you can wrap it. There's there's options with that, and we'll go over those. The clutch. Here's a big problem. The clutch takes a tapered shaft like this. All right. <laughs> this is not a tapered shaft. This is a straight long shaft. So the options that I have with this is I could buy a new pump, or a clutch and put that on there. That's another hundred or so dollars. Now this clutch is brand new. The guy had it for a very short period of time before because he thought the clutch was the reason why it didn't work good. So this clutch is brand, basically brand new. So is the secondary. And uh, this is the secondary. So <coughs> I don't want to buy another clutch. So what you do, there's this kit. It's a taper kit. It's, this thing slides on here. You drill and tap the center. And you cut that off. A brand new engine and you cut the shaft off. That just excites everybody. So, I'll be cutting that off. Put, I already ordered the adapter sleeve. 
it's not in yet when it's in I'll show it to you and then put the clutch on so there's the two options there new clutch or use this one cut you know which is the method we're going to use I'm going to cut this and it's all going to be in a video you can see it the exhaust we're going to run new exhaust up back air cleaner I want you there's a million of things you can do with an air cleaner that's not a problem and uh, there's kits out there for you know a little type of air cleaners that can be up here so it's out of the way um, the gas tank we, so this will come off this will come off this will come off which will lower this and the throttle there's a bunch of ways to hook up the throttle a lot of people hook the throttle right directly to this which is the governor which bypasses the governor because you really don't need a governor on this you know it's like a snowmobile mini bikes uh, motorcycles your car they don't have governors but a governor's kind of nice so that's a problem I'll decide as time goes on because I have to hook the throttle up to this which is kind of you can't really you play an idea as to how to hook the throttle up but you don't really do it until it gets there this ignition box this will come off and a regular ignition switch will go into the dash of the of the cart so that's basically that this is our engine 1800 or 18 uh, horsepower it weighs about the same as that one too it's a little lighter but those are other problems we have and uh, I know I, I've, I've heard a lot of people say that I wish I could do that I wish I could have the skills the knowledge and the tools to be able to do the project that we're doing and you can you can I disagree that people say they can't tools there's Harbor Freight you you don't have to buy the most super expensive tools but you can buy tools and I'm sure you know people that has a tool where you can take a the plate over to their house and they have a drill press they can drill the holes for you or taps you know they're not very expensive but a welder you know I got a I got quite a few welders but I don't have a really good welder that I need so I'm going to take it to a friend of mine who has one use his welder I'm not going to go out and buy a two thousand dollar welder to do this as far as tools you can do it you can buy tools buy the cheap ones you don't need the expensive ones or you can borrow well I wouldn't say borrow a lot of people don't loan out tools but you can get tools that's the solvable problem okay knowledge do your homework if you do your homework you can learn how to do this. I mean, I, I studied how I was going to do this before I even tore this apart. I just looked on YouTube, saw how people did it, come up with my own eyes, other people's ideas, and, and come, come up with other people's ideas, use my ideas. And so you, just, you have to do your homework. And the skill level. Skill level is a learning thing. You just take your time. If you want to get this done in a weekend, you're going to rush. Skills use along with skills usually comes a long time where you can do stuff faster. If you don't have the skill, it's just going to take you longer. We're not painting a Mona Lisa. We're working on a freaking golf cart. It's something that you could do. I have total confidence that anybody can really do this if they take their time. But you have to do your homework and you have to take your time. You measure three or four times, and then do it right. I mean. We unboxed it, and uh, now we're going to get busy. And I got still got some more figuring to do. I got to take the old engine. I got to measure its location. I've got to get the plate that goes underneath here, that bolts here, that bolts into the frame. You'll see all of it in the next video. So with that, I'm going to end this video here. This is a real short video. Thank you for watching. In the uh, Hanger 207 in the garage with the golf cart edition.